lost in my fall. Yeah. Well, apparently Link in Smash 4 has a bunch of new neat little tricks he can do with his uh, bombs. Because oh. there's a fun trick that apparently existed in Brawl um, as well. And it stems from something that also sort of existed in Melee, but was easier to do. Um, in Melee, Link could, um, like, he could drop his bombs without them blowing up on the ground. Is that a Link or Young Link that could do that? One of them, I think, could. But in Brawl, your bombs would explode a lot easier when they touch stuff. But there was a trick you could do where if you used your hookshot in midair right before landing and you had a bomb in your hands, it would instead, like, drop the bomb instead. And this is cool because, you know, you can place bombs around it. I use them for like simple mind games and other things like that. He also would use his hook shot at the same time. So you could keep people away from you while holding a bomb without tossing the bomb and having it explode. So you keep your bomb and push people away. But in Smash 4, there's a really neat trick not now that if you hit if you hit the uh, like the hook shot button basically your grab button the malt like pretty much during the few frames of the jump animation you will not send out the hook shot but you will drop the bomb so what this means is that you can like there's a few things you can do which is send out an aerial and then immediately recatch the bomb which lets you do a short hopped aerial without dropping the bomb which is really really nice and it's some thing that you can do in Brawl as well. Um, but it's a little different, something like that. Um, but the fun thing is that, uh, like, due to other mechanics in Smash 4, there's a lot more you can do with bombs. And you can also pull out a second bomb immediately after dropping your first. Kind of like how Snake could use Shield to drop his grenades, and then he has two grenades right there for him. So, you know, Link's really, really good right now. Or at least looking pretty good. So that's nice. Link deserves to actually be good. He was pretty okay in Melee. Like, he wasn't um, considered competitively viable. But he could still maybe do well if you were, like, really, really, really good with him. a first for this game where the enemies will just straight up ignore you to try and invade the space. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to deal with. So if I fail this mission, then I'll probably just waste all... Uh, I'll probably just do it real quick, have all animations off. Uh, and then just ha and then just spam spirit commands to kill everything faster. Uh, I wanted to save it for a boss, but unfortunately, uh, that looks like it ain't gonna be an option.
Yep, I do have to kill everyone. Oh god. I was Difficult. Just, yeah, I was checking to see like, is there a, another objective I could fulfill that stop this? But no, there is. Nope. I gotta just kind of deal with it. Right, so now I just have to hope they don't move to their objective next turn. Otherwise, I'm fucked. No, but they can get fucking close. Oh god. will come in handy assuming I live to the next round.
which is lame because Excel is awesome. Yes. Alright, moment of truth. My prediction, this guy right here is gonna fuck me. So, let's find out. Which one? That one. Oh, no, he didn't, even though he could've. So the game actually threw me a bone. Basically, Yeah, it is. Wow. Ba basically, they're saying... I'm this... watching hmm? a few of them. I saw a, f a few of them, actually, that, like, their movement would've let them do it. Yeah. So they're basically... Oh. They're like, this is your last turn, bro. Make it count. So, yeah. So I gotta do that. So, 